Okay, so I've been using the iPhone 11 Pro for four or five days at this point, and the early reviews are very accurate. The camera on this phone is shockingly good. It's weird that they went from the 10s camera to this, like the jump in both like low light photography, regular photography, it's a very big gap. And it's just, it's a testament as to how good their software team is. The computational kind of photography that's going on in here is amazing. I'm not gonna say that they're the first people to do it. Like clearly Google has been using Night Sight and all the other companies like Samsung, Huawei, they've been shooting great low light photography for a year or maybe more at this point. But the 11 Pro does it in an incredibly intuitive way. Like I would actually consider this to be the best camera on the market right now when it comes to just overall software, hardware, and just ease of use. Like the simplicity of this camera system is really one of its best features for the average person. I gave this phone to my mom. She was able to shoot low light photos without any kind of menu navigation. The camera is so good. And I also like how they use the different lenses in the live preview. Like you can actually see the other focal lengths. Like this picture here is gonna be taken with the regular lens, but you can see in the kind of like the shaded area that's being stitched in from the wider lens. It's actually really cool. So the camera system on the iPhone 11 Pro is banging and the software on this whole device just feels so fluid and just so well done. And the fact that you can run it on the iPhone SE, like a three and a half year old phone at this point, it's awesome. But the hardware on this phone still feels so lackluster for 2019. And people are gonna be like, Dave, you're just such an Apple hater. It's not about that. Like clearly I like the camera, it's a winner, but the overall package just isn't doing it for me. I like their phones. It's just when you have access to stuff like 90 Hertz screens and just universal charging, it's hard to appreciate what this phone offers for a thousand dollars, despite the class leading camera. Now, the thing that sucks about this whole thing is that I feel like Apple purposely does this. See, we're in year three of Apple's three year product cycle. They do this with their phones now and they currently do this with their laptops, it seems, where they bring out a new model on the first year, they kind of tweak it on the second year, and then they tweak it again in the third year. So this third year, which is where we're in right now, the third year of this kind of notched iPhone shape, it's the hardest year for Apple to market a product, right? Like the device has been out for three years, it doesn't look particularly fresh and new, so they gotta do some stuff to push these devices a little bit more aggressively, but good computational photography isn't new, it's just new to the iPhone. And when I say I feel like they do it on purpose, it's just that you know Apple's a trillion dollar company. If they want to, they could implement all this stuff in just one year, they could have like great computational photography and high refresh OLED screens and USB-C charging and you know have a smaller notch. They could do all of this in one year in this like super phone. They'd sell a ton of those super phones for that one year, but then no one would buy iPhones for several years. So that's why they do this, to keep people coming back for more iPhones every year. It's great money. So we know that next year is supposed to be hardware redesign with new screen sizes, the potential of USB-C charging, faster screens, smaller notches, like the whole iPhone family is supposed to be redesigned next year. See, for me, as much as I like this camera and as much as I like this phone, it actually surprised me. Like I feel like it did a really good job in what they delivered for a third year product. I'm still gonna wait. Like as much as I like this camera, it's not enough for me to switch over to this because I know that if I buy this phone, I hold on for like three, four years, I'm gonna be using lightning ports again for another three or four years, F that. I'm just gonna keep up with the SE as my Apple phone if I ever need to use one. Like I actually had to use this phone recently to record my kid when he was first learning how to ride his bike and he also found some Caterpillar that he really wanted photos and videos of. And the image quality on this stuff is mediocre at best, but I caught the memory and that's really the most important thing when it comes to at least most photography that I'm doing. Sometimes camera upgrades are awesome and the iPhone 12 this year is like, it really is something special, but the hardware still feels a little too stale for me. I'm gonna wait for the iPhone 12 because I know that one is gonna be awesome. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.